Okay, everybody, I'm headed to TJ Maxx. I've tried this a couple of times. Sorry, it's really dark. But I never get there when it's not torn apart. Usually, after it opens and people are rummaging through the stuff, it looks like garbage. So I'm going to go there when it opens so I can look at everything when it's nice and set up. I can't find anything at this TJ Maxx. I'm probably just going to go across town and look at that one. We have two in town. I might even hit up a Marshalls to see what's all going on because I got to stay out of Sephora because I spent too much damn money. Oh, the struggle. Okay, on my way to TJ Maxx, I stopped at Target. Yes, I know, another Target non-haul. But I actually got some things that I needed, like cat food, cat litter. But I also got um, a new smelly for fall because I don't give a shit what people say. September is the start of fall and I put my Halloween crap out too. So don't come for me. Um, so now I'm headed over to TJ Maxx. Okay, tar Target. <laughs> I'm not even at Target. Oh my God. Ah, beep. Okay, TJ Maxx was fun. I got my best friend a couple of gifts for her birthday. I have to send them overseas though, so she, hopefully she'll get to buy her birthday. Overseas shipping is the freaking worst. But I actually got something super, super funny that I was like cracking up when I bought it. I don't know why I bought this, but it literally speaks to me. So now I have chicken poop lip balm. Chicken poop lip balm. I need to go home. Jesus. I do want to say that TJ Maxx has some really nice matte Urban Decay palettes. I didn't buy one because I already have a complete matte palette at home from Smashbox, so I didn't really want to spend the money on another matte palette because you, you know, can only do so much with mattes. But they actually had some really, really beautiful palettes in there. Um, they have a bunch of Makeup Revolution palettes, some ABH palettes. I was really shocked at everything that they actually had. Um, they had some first aid beauty cleansers, which is weird because I've never seen first aid beauty at TJ Maxx. So I was kind of excited to see that there. Um, what else did they have? Uh, you know, and then the regulars, but yeah, it was a successful trip. I can't even say that word. Successful, successful. You guys, I am freaking starving. I didn't eat breakfast. I had my coffee. And I don't know if you know this, a little weird fact, but coffee makes you poop. Yeah, and I haven't ate breakfast, so a little TMI for you on this morning of mornings, but like I said, you're going to get all of me on this channel. It's not just about makeup and old ass women's skin. It's pretty much everything that I go through. Okay guys, I'm back from Target and TJ Maxx, and I only got a couple of makeup things. I got makeup wipes because they were on sale. I got cat food. I got dog treats. I got regular crap, and then I got my best friend a couple of presents for her birthday at TJ Maxx so all in all it was a good shopping trip not so much a haul but <clears throat> um yeah it went well so I will try to get another video out with a new product I did buy the elf um foundation I have to take it back because it's literally pasty white on me not my color I apparently need color 831111 and this is 81390 way off so I gotta take that back to Target I'm gonna find my receipt first okay guys we are headed out me and my daughter and we're gonna head to Sephora because I want to go look at the new Glow Recipe Retinol eye cream I wanted it since it came out so we're gonna see that she wants a pair of Miami lashes which okay I usually don't complain about a lot of stuff, but I, I hate that they're thirty dollars. I hate it. I don't understand that price point at all. I get it that oh they last forever. No lashes don't last forever. You can use them a few times. You know they're lashes. I don't know. Maybe I'm completely wrong. I, I should say maybe they are the greatest thing for lashes, but I don't know because I don't usually wear lashes. So people who wear lashes, please comment below if I'm just being stupid and too frugal. Maybe 
is a great price point. You know, maybe I'm just being too stingy. I don't know. I don't wear them very often. When I create a look for like Instagram or for my pro, you know, to put somewhere, I, I, I slap a pair on, but they're not $30 lashes. They're not Miami lashes. You know, I just, I get it. I understand it's, you know, Lily lashes. Everybody's got them. Well, I don't. I have Ardell. <laughs> so maybe there's some kind of disconnect with me or maybe it's because I don't wear them enough to appreciate them. I don't know. Sound off below if I'm completely crazy about it, but I think $30 is a bit steep. That's just me. Just me. And then we need to go get groceries. Not that you didn't know that, but that's what we're going to do. And I don't want to go to Ulta, but I need shampoo. And I know Ulta's got some sales right now. The problem with me going into Ulta is that I can find shampoo, but then I could find $50 worth of other stuff, you know? It's not good because my husband already thinks I'm addicted to Ulta and I'm almost at my diamond status and I'm like, I'm not addicted. <clears throat> I do like Ulta though. So anyway, we're going to go there so I can get my shampoo. And maybe, maybe some new setting powder. I don't know. I'm almost out of my Becca Hydra setting mist powder. You know, I got a little bit left in there. But I really do want to buy the new Urban Decay at Ulta. And they also, I want the new Anastasia Beverly Hills setting powder. Because I played with it at the store and it's absolutely beautiful. But so is the Urban Decay. But if I buy both of them, that's $80. That is like divorce papers being served at my front door for my husband. <laughs> he already gets mad when I go there. So I just need to like take cash out and be like, I just had to have cash in my purse. Mm-hmm. Lies. So anyway, that's what we're going to do. So hopefully we I'll have something to show you when I get back and I won't be broke or divorced. <laughs> Pray for us. <laughs> Never getting to Facebook. What are you talking about? Smile. Just like act normal. <laughs> wow. Hey, ready? No Facebook. <laughs> asshole. No asshole. Car wash vlog. I tell myself I'm not going to Sephora. I got a Sephora. I should never say that. But I was super excited because um, my birthday was a week ago and I got my birthday gift and I picked out the Drunk Elephant. I've never tried anything from this brand. I heard nothing but good things, especially for a woman of a certain age. Me. Um, I got the Bestie number no. 9. I think it's called Jelly Cleanser. Um, healthy skin starts with pH balance cleanse. Bestie number nine is jelly fill <clears throat> is a jelly fied unscented cleanser that removes all makeup and impurities. So we can try that. I'm not against that. And then the other thing that was in the little box. This is uh, uh, Protini Polypepside Cream. I'm not sure what this does. This, oh my gosh, that is so hard to read. This breakthrough protein moisturizer combines an unprecedented array and concentration of single peptides, growth factors, supportive amino acids, and pygmy water lily for visible and immediate improvement in the appearance of skin's tone, texture, and firmness. Um... So, and there's no scent. So that's good. We're going to try both of those. I mean, that was very wordy for a tiny, tiny thing of lotion. So, whatever. 
I got it free for my birthday. Watch. And, but I did pick up my favorite Marc Jacobs Youth Quake Lotion because I was out. And I always get the little guy because it's only 20 bucks. And that means I can spend other monies on other things. Um, and of course, the child got a couple of things too because we can't go to Sephora without her hitting me up for something or another. Of course, I'm a sucker like that. So I did that. And then we went to Lush. I love Lush. If you don't know what Lush is, Lush is a bath bomb, all natural um, bath place, I guess. Skincare bath place. I love it. Oh my God. This is my favorite bath bomb of all time there. I get this every time I go. It's $12, but I break it up into three, so then it's not as much. But this little guy right here, it's a um, foam, gosh darn it, I think it's called a foam bar or foaming bar, but it's... Uh, has biodegradable glitter in it it smells like orange and lavender i think it's freaking amazing it makes your skin so soft i love it so we went to lush and got that by the way i was laughing at this oh, earlier Toto, come on this chicken poop <laughs> lip balm is flipping amazing like as funny as it sounds it it's amazing i've only i put it on once when i left the house and i put it on just a little bit ago i it's crazy how well this stuff works the, the name alone cracks me up i'm my dog just went outside but guess what she needs to do again go back outside dakota come on come on Anyway, I was going to read the ingredients in it because it actually has some really, really good ones. It's got avocado oil, beeswax, jojoba oil, lavender oil, sweet orange oil, and vitamin E. And that's it. This stuff is amazing. I, They only had one there. If they had another one, I would have bought it and put it in the giveaway box. I might go back tomorrow because i got to take the elf back because it's not my shade. And if they have another one, I'm going to grab it. Because this is just too funny. And it works really, really well. I just spit all over myself. I need to go to bed. Alright, that's all for today. Um, hopefully, I didn't bore you to death with this video of nonsense. But, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of me, subscribe. And don't forget to ring the bell. So every time I upload a video, you'll be notified. Alright guys. Have a good night and a good weekend.